I hate my face. I used to wake up every single day, look in the mirror, and all I'd see is acne. Really oily, greasy face. I hated the way I looked. I always dreamed of having a face that was always clean. Almost like a shine to it. No acne. Yet, that dream seemed unattainable. Nothing I did, no matter what things I used, my acne was always there. I tried popping them, that made it worse. I tried all these products, didn't help. I actually made things worse. I hate the way my face looks. Nothing I did made it cleaner, made it shiny, got rid of that acne. Despite all my friends, all those people in school, they managed to have a beautiful face. So I believe that nothing I can do can change that fact, that nothing can be done. But if that's the case, then how did people make a change? How did people completely transform their face? You see it on social media all the time that people before and after, they have incredibly amount of acne on their face, yet they suddenly become this insanely attractive dude who's almost like a different person. How? It is possible, but you just don't know how. Well, I found out the secret. I'm going to reveal it to you. So stick to the end of the video. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. You see, I went through puberty at a very early age. You know, I'm going to tell you my story. I went through it very, very early, like year seven. I shot up. You know, I used to be like this, like small little Asian kid with a perfect face, like super clear, nice tanned. I then suddenly shot up. I had a bunch of acne. My forehead grew in size, which I don't know how it's possible. I then became from this cute little Asian kid to this clapped tall Asian motherfucker. As it, it stayed like that for years. I didn't like how I looked. But if you look at me now, no acne. My face is clean. I took care of it and now I don't have any acne. And it took years and years to figure out what works. And I'm going to save you all that time by telling you a couple things that you can do now that will make a difference. First things first, I didn't realize that there was something known as a skin type. There are three types of skin that you can have on your face. Oily, dry, or combination. Now, I had no idea that this was a case, that you have to treat your skin depending on what skin type you have. Because if you don't treat it right, then you're actually going to make it worse in the end. Which is probably what a lot of you have been doing, that you try all this skin product stuff and it made it worse. It's what I did, and I was like, why is this not helping? Why do I still have acne? Why is this not working? Because I was using the wrong stuff for my face. Now, the way to find out is get a thin piece of tissue or like dabbing paper. Many of us probably don't have that. So like a tiny, like a thin piece of like tissue paper will work. And just dab it on the areas of your face, on the main parts of your face. Now, if the tissue comes out oily, then you have oily skin. If it doesn't, then you have dry skin. Now, combination is a mix of both. So you'll probably find that the T, which is your forehead and like the bits around your nose, your chin, that the middle T bit of your face is probably oily and then your cheeks, your cheekbone is dry. Now that's combination skin. Now when you look at products, you have to treat your skin according to your skin type. Take care for your type of skin. And if you read on the back of products, it will tell you what skin type this is most suitable for. So for me, I have combination skin. I have oily combination skin. Now, what I use for that is exfoliating pads. I need to clean my face. My face is more oily than it should be. My pores on my face are, they have a lot more oil. So they need to be cleaned more. If you have dry, have dry skin, very, very dry skin, then you don't have that problem. You need to still clean your face, yeah, but you don't need something that's harsh that will hurt your face because your face is already dry. You don't need to get rid of all that excess oil. You need to actually moisturize your face. So if you've got dry skin, clean your face, you know, clean your face with your that face product, that sort of like face scrubbing, face mask or face wash. But then you need to moisturize your face afterwards. More moisturizer that then I would need because I've got oily combination skin. So you would need to find a product that's got more moisturizing capabilities. However, if you've got oily or combination skin, 
you need something that's going to clean that oil a lot more than someone with dry skin would need. So I use exfoliating pads. If I read on the back here, like it'll literally tell me how to use cleanse the face and neck with the texture pad, blah, 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 blah. Suitable for all skin types, but especially oily slash combination skin. Now this is best for me. Now I used to have an ex who had dry skin. Her face was dry. When she used this, it would literally leave her face red. It would be harmful. So you need to look at the product and see which one is best for your skin type. That's the first step. Figure out what skin type you have and take care of your skin due to that skin type. If you've got dry skin, you need more moisturizer, more hydrating products. If you've got oily slash combination skin, you need something that's gonna cleanse your face more often and get rid of that excess oil. Now, this is something that both all skin types use, and that is a face wash, a face wash of some kind. Now, what do we use then in that case? Does it matter if you've got dry skin or oily skin or combination skin? What you still need to cleanse and wash your face with a type of face wash. And then after, obviously, drug people with dry skin need to moisturize it, a moisturizer that's more hydrating, and then people with oily skin need something to clean and get rid of that excess oil, and then also moisturize afterwards, but they don't need as heavy as a moisturizer as someone with dry skin. But then the face wash, what do we use? What did I use that helped me clear all my acne? And it doesn't really matter. I use Bulldog, but it doesn't really matter what you use for a face wash. What matters is the ingredients. You need to get a face wash that is sulfate free, that doesn't have any sulfate in. Now, this is gonna be hard. Sulfate is in 90% of all shampoo products or body wash products because it's a very cheap cleaning product. It works and it's cheap, but that's the problem. It's cheap. It cleans, but quite harshly. It doesn't leave your face quite healthy afterwards. It leaves it irritated, dry. Same with your hair. It leaves your hair irritated. Sulfate is a cleaning product, yes, but it's a very cheap cleaning product and it's quite harsh on your body. So it doesn't really matter what product you use for your face wash. Just make sure that it does not have sulfate in, that it's sulfate free. It'll probably be like iridium, like sulfate something. Now I use Bulldog, Bulldog face wash that is specifically for oily skin, since that's what I have. Bulldog is a great company. I recommend you go give it a look. It'll have different face wash for different skin types. And if you can, instead of just rubbing your face with the face wash, uh, a silicone scrubber would be best. Silicone doesn't, doesn't store a lot of bacteria and it just kind of cleanses your face a little bit better and it's not too harsh. You can buy one on Amazon for like five quid or 10 quid. Now, the next habit. The next thing I did every single morning that helped my fame, my fame, helped my face become a lot more tighter, a lot more cleaner, almost like a little shine, is ice. I would literally submerge my face into just a box of ice cubes. I did it at work as well. When I used to work in a restaurant, we, uh, I was a bartender and we had, obviously, for drinks, giant box of ice. I'd take a bunch of ice, put it in a separate box, and I'd just plunge my face into it. Now, ice reduces swelling. We all know this but it also means it reduces the blood pressure in your face and can help your face become a lot more tighter, a lot more cleaner, instead of having, you know, kind of big bulgy patches that are quite swelled. Ice is a great, great addition to add into your face sort of like skincare routine because it helps your face become a lot smoother. And it also feels really nice. And the last thing, the last habit and it's a very unusual one, one that we all neglect, and that is food. Food plays a role, and what you're eating will affect how you look. We all know this, like if you eat too much junk food, you gain too much weight. If you eat a lot more healthier food, you don't gain so much weight. But it also does affect your skin. It's not just your weight, it affects how your face looks. Now, the best thing that I can give you is processed foods cut out as much processed food as possible. So junk food, anything that's been, you know, processed in a factory that's got a lot of stuff injected, there is so much stuff in processed foods that it does affect how your skin looks. When you cook something, 
for yourself, just make it a single ingredient meal. So basically what that means is that when you buy the item, it doesn't have an ingredients list because it's only one ingredient. For example, when you buy potatoes, there isn't an ingredients list on there. Or when you go to the butchers and buy chicken, there is an ingredients list, it's just chicken. And then you go buy some vegetables, you just buy a carrot from the store, it's not got an ingredients list, it's a carrot. You can probably see where I'm going with this. So buy single ingredient meals and then cook it together, cook it yourself. Don't buy a pre-cooked thing which you put in the microwave and then comes out fine. Because yeah, it's edible, but it's not gonna be helpful to you. It's not gonna be healthy. So buy a single ingredient stuff and then cook your own meal. And that's it. Chicken, potato, carrots, seasoning, you know, salt, stuff like that. Bam. You got yourself a pretty nice meal. And that will make a huge difference to how your skin looks. You see, we can do all the good habits, you know, find out that what our skin type is, take care of us our, our skin type, depending on what we have. Having sulfate-free face wash so we don't, uh, you know, ruin our face in the long run. Putting ice on our face to reduce swelling, to have a tighter, more clean face. But if the food that we're eating is unhealthy for our body, it doesn't matter. We're still going to have not that great of a face. What we eat plays a huge part. And I'm not telling you to go on a giant diet to only eat lettuce and become, I don't know, a rabbit. <laughs> you don't need to do that. You just need to cut out processed foods, or as much as you can, because processed foods is kind of everywhere. It's hard not to. You just need to cut out as much as possible and cook for yourself with single ingredient stuff. That's it. That is enough to make a difference. Trust me, this works. Give it a go for two weeks and you will start seeing a difference because that's what I did. This is what I still do now and it's helped me maintain acne. Look, yeah, it was years ago that I had acne, and it took me years to find out how to get rid of it. But I still get acne every now and then. I've got one, I've got a little spot there. Like, I still get it every now and then. Yeah, because I do all of this, my body is able to fight it, and it's able to get over it. Hopefully this helped you out. There was a lot of information there, so go ahead, save this video, or write down notes so you can, you know, come back to this at any point if there's something that you've forgotten. Because there was quite a lot of information there so that's understandable and rewatch this and pause this if you need to hopefully this helped you out and i hope things have been good i, I hope i was managed to help you <laughs> managed to that was grammatically so wrong i hope i managed to help you out and i would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's gonna pop up in the corner here because this video could help you out stay consistent and do the best you can and subscribe if you want to see more content like this you know what time it is oh yeah self-improvement gets